perineal staple rectal resection for a full thickness, very large rectal prolapse in a frail elderly patient. Here we present a 90-year-old female patient with a past medical history of atrial fibrillation, history of primary excision for squamous cell carcinoma from the lower leg in 2017, local recurrence exercise in 2018, and further lymphadenectomy for recurrence in the left groin in 2018. The patient presented with a full thickness rectal prolapse measuring 10 centimeters, which was having a significant negative impact on her quality of life. She was offered a perineal stapled prolapse resection, which is a relatively novel surgical procedure for treating external rectal prolapse with good clinical outcome. Frail patients who are unsuitable for prolonged abdominal procedures and can only endure a short procedure under regional anesthesia should be considered for perineal stapled rectal prolapse resection. PSPR is also beneficial for elderly patients with a large rectal prolapse, approximately 8 to 10 centimeters, and multiple comorbidities. In addition, PSPR has shown equally good clinical outcomes with young patients who want to avoid potential complication of nerve damage that is associated with the abdominal approach. The patient is placed in a lithotomy position as well as a slight Trudenberg. The prolapse is reproduced by taking hold of the apex of the rectal prolapse. The prolapse was resected longitudinally along the prolapse rectum at 3 o'clock position with a reloadable 100mm GIA linear stapler. In this procedure, it is advantageous to wait longer than usual before firing the stapler, at least one minute because of the thickness and edema of the tissues. The same step is repeated at 9 o'clock. At this stage you now have an anterior and posterior prolapsed rectal flap. The anterior rectal flap was then resected horizontally at the anal rectal junction to complete the resection parallel to but avoiding the dentate line. 0.5 centimeters away from the dentate line. Using a reloadable endo GIA linear stapling device, this is flexible and can be angled. The same is repeated for the posterior flap. The use of the contour stapler allowed a more precise transaction. The contour was disengaged and the anal mucosa and neorectum fell back into place spontaneously after complete resection.